You've got to do some soul searching. What's going on fellow sneaker connoisseurs? It's your guy AD with another edition of Soul Searching. As you probably already know, Kobe Bryant signed with Adidas directly out of high school beginning his uh, signature career with them back in 1996. Why is that important you ask? Because today we highlight the Adidas KBA2 which they now call the Adidas Crazy 2. Crazy. Now the sneaker was originally released during the 1998-99 season and then uh, in 2014 they uh, retro the shoe and brought it back around for people that were not already hip or wanted to get back in on the, uh, the 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 sauciness, just look at that the sauce. Ugh. I mean, look at those colors. I mean, you get the you get the like the the dark. Uh, what, what do I want to call it? The Almost like the Christmas tree green, the evergreen right there on the sole, as well as uh in the laces. And you also get that eggplant, you know style purple as well with the white in between it's almost like a you know a eggplant evergreen sandwich with the white and then what's really dope is I, and I didn't realize this for the longest time was that this clear this clear part on the side uh, you can actually see what's like like you can see my finger through that you see that see that you can see my finger right there. So pretty much, you have to wear socks to match. You can't, you can't, you can't, you gotta come correct. You can't wear no dirty ass socks. You gotta wear some clean ass socks and they gotta match the shoe because you got that little clear, uh, that clear part to which the viewer can actually see what you got up under the sneaker. So be careful, choose wisely when you get these and uh, choose wisely about what socks you're putting on, what day you're gonna wear sneakers. Cause if it's the last, the last day in the week and you only got seven pairs of socks, then you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a little difficult. Or six pairs of socks, eight pairs of socks. My math is bad, you know what I'm saying? As far as being sneakers for play, um, I'm not so sure about that. There's not a lot of traction on the bottom, which actually kind of surprises me. Cause ever since I've grown up and played ball, uh, Adidas has had like the stickiest bottoms of shoes, which is something I've always admired and loved. Because when you're, when you're out on the court, you only be slipping and sliding. You have that traction. These ones, however, ah, as far as uh, comfort and stability, um, they definitely have that support as far as the ankles. They're definitely solid shoes as far as cushioning is concerned, so you don't have to worry about getting out there and twisting an ankle or, or you know, if you have flat feet, you know, making your feet extra sore because these shoes actually have that that uh, that support. Um, they are fairly heavy. I don't know the exact weight, uh, but as far as just having them in my hand and, and having them on, they're a heavy shoe to wear. Like I said, I don't know if I would play in them. Then of course I collect sneakers not to play in them, but to wear for fashion purposes. Uh, they're they're definitely a dope shoe. Um, there's a lot of colorways with these two. Um, these are have I happen to come up on these on like a fluke, uh, so I just had to grab them. I didn't really have like a choice of color. Although I may still go with this colorway even over like the other ones. I mean, there's some purple ones out there. There's black ones out there. So it's a lot of ones out there, uh, but I do love this colorway. It's dope. Uh, I even love like the gray interior. The ventilation of the shoe is solid as well. Um, it definitely allows your your foot to breathe. If you see right here on the strings, like as far as the straps, it actually has like the mesh bubble, so your foot can breathe. Can you guys see that? There you go. You see that? Uh, you know. So if you if you're like me and your feet sweat a lot or whatever when you're doing a lot of moving around, um, that'll definitely uh, that'll definitely help you. As far as the make of the shoe and the materials used, uh, synthetics are used in this uh, retro version. Um, the only difference between the, this retro version and the initial version back in the 90s is that the synthetics are much cheaper. It's the KB82, Crazy 2, Adidas, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure you pay homage to the Black Mamba. Love the shoe, love the sneaker. For, well, I, I, lo I love Adidas, to be honest, uh, and it will forever remain in my collection. That's what it is. Soul searching. Soul searching. There we go. That was better. Mm -hmm. You've got to do some soul searching.